Have you ever wanted to create a sequentially numbered series of items in Lightburn, but weren't sure how to do it without typing in a number for every item? Well, I'm going to show you how to do that today quickly and easily using the variable text tool and the serial number feature. And we're also going to do just a little bit with the array tool. So let's get into Lightburn and see what's happening. All right. So right now you see I have a single item, looks like an ornament or key tag or whatever. And this actually came from a, a question someone in, in the forums about making key tags with the, the numbers changing. So here we have a key tag with the number one on it. If we highlight both and we go to the array tool, and he said he can only do four on, on his laser due to size. So let's make a series of four. Okay, so now we have four items. Key tags are all the same, but they all have the same number in them. So we could go in here individually and edit the number. And we have to do that for everyone. You get the idea. That's just, that's a lot of work. Let's show you how to do it the easy way. Back out of this. Here's where we started. What we need to do is we need to change the number to a placeholder. And the placeholder for serial numbers is D. And we're going to go up through 12 today, so we need two places. So I'm going to go D, D. Okay, and let's make sure that's still centered. That's centered in our text, in, in our key holder. All right, now we select our text. And up here, we change it to serial number. That's step one. Now, we need, we're going to make four of these since we can get four on a sheet. So we go back to the array tool. We highlight everything. Go back to the array tool. Too wide and too high. Now, as you look at it, if we click the preview, it goes one, two, three, four, because it knows that we're doing sequential numbering here. But let's go over and click on the variable text tool and see what's actually going on. So we're going to start with one, and we're going to end with 12. So it's going to do three runs. And if we advance by one, we click the test button, we can see we go. If we advance by one, click next. Now it just changes two, three, four, five. That's not what we want to do. We want to go back one. We want to advance by four. So we have four items and change this back to one. We one, two, three, four. Our next page will be five, six, seven, eight. And our next page will be 9, 10, 11, 12. That's what we want to see. So let's go back to the beginning. Okay. So we have our item selected. Let me go check my cuts and layers. Okay, I'm just doing this on cardboard, so I'm going really fast and low power. All right. Let's go back to variable text. And watch what happens when I hit the start button. That's going to change from 1 to 5. It auto Because I have auto advance selected, it's going to advance up to the next number as soon as I hit the start button. So watch this. We're going to hit start. That just changed to five. Now let's go look at the laser. And you see it's burning it. And while that's burning, if we look at the preview, for the next one we see it's already it's advanced to five, six, seven, eight. I am going to go back out to the laser. Okay, now we moved it down. We're going to hit send again, or start again, rather, and it's going to do the next step. Okay, and now I moved it down one more time, and you can see if we look at the test, it's going to do 9 through 12. And it incremented up here to nine. Let's hit start. And it goes back to one. So we could start and do this whole series over and over again if we wanted to. Now I'm going back here. We'll see we move down. And again, I'll speed this up and come back when it's done. So there you have it, a very quick and easy way to do sequential numbering of an item in Lightburn without having to type the numbers in every time, just using the variable text tool with the serial number feature. So I hope you found this video useful for you. Please like the video, 
Subscribe to my channel for more light burn tips and tricks along with some other laser projects and who knows what else I might throw in there.